Okay, uh, we're gonna show uh, all this collection of guns that we've been having since I've been starting to the gaming community. <laughs> Do you know how long you've been in gaming, by the way? You guys? <laughs> Probably almost my entire life. <laughs> I remember you had the DS when you were a uh, two year old. Yeah. And yeah. Sebastian, you had, what system you started with? Nothing, I was too young. No, but do you remember well, which I mean, system we start playing with? Oh, you started with the iPad. Uh, no, that doesn't count. <laughs> I actually did. Oh, that one don't count. Yeah, they have an arcade. Yeah, I was um, a few months old or enough to actually crawl around. I guess I should say... See, yeah, crawl see. around. Go on, go on. It's Sebastian's talking, go on. Yeah, and, and then I mean, what? I remember when I was young, I wanted to use the 3DS. And okay. Since I was like... Uh, since I was like very young, I wanted to use the 3DS. Yeah. And then when I was like 12, I wanted to use the 3DS. Yeah. Years ago, he got the 3DS well, in 2012. Well, I was talking about when I was like super young. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So, yeah, so you started with the 3DS, Steven started with the but DS. Didn't you start with the GameCube or something? I mean, we did play the GameCube. And me, uh, well, my first knowing console was the original Nintendo, hmm. which I never owned one until, until it came to the US in 2000. That's when I brought the Game Boy Advance. Oh. That was my very first system. And I have to use a portable because I was driving. Do you remember I was a truck driver, right? Yeah. The Good. Truck was tall. Why not the anyway, this? Well, well, um, I was um, how to say? I did uh, three years uh, over the road, cross country, mm -hmm. to all the states, every state in the U.S. Of course, wow. I remember the only place I, I didn't get a trip for or delivery was um, North and South Dakota, oh. and there was one more, which is next to them. I went to Minnesota though. Um, I don't know which one. Oh, Montana. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, did, I never went to Montana. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I never went to Montana. I went to all of it except Montana and North and South Dakota. So that's the only two places in America that I haven't been. So, uh, well, putting that out of the way, uh, I remind you that I had my Game Boy Advance while I was driving. Well, not driving. <laughs> While I was waiting for a load or a load. Yes. And then I decided to work locally after three years over the road. And then I started building my collection, which I didn't expect to grow big. But somehow it got big because there is so much stuff, so much uh, accessories, light guns, arcade stick, racing wheels, systems. Or oh, even stickers. <laughs> Anyways, but today we're going to show about this man cave, which is going to become our... Retro room. Okay, so this is gonna be our retro room, which we're gonna be playing a lot of um, shooting, rail shooters. Plus, we're gonna be playing uh, Nintendo 64 games. Which should be on this specific TV. I guess. Yeah, just for this big size TV, <laughs> yes. Beer. Yeah, the old classic CRTs are here. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, well, I gotta, I gotta say, this is actually a shop. This is, uh, this is my shop. So nothing is fancy here except for the good accessories. <laughs> this is a mess, pretty much. But today we get enough room to choke this stuff around. So let's start. So let's start with the, well, since this next to us is gonna be the, the Top Shot Elite. Uh, that's what they call it. Well, they, they, you can tell with that sticker as well. So bang, 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 semi. Yeah, you gotta put it straight so I can see it. Like that, like that, yeah. yes. Yeah so. yeah, so yeah, that's a Top Chat Elite. Uh, that's made for the PlayStation 3, I believe. Which is officially made by the um, Activision, I guess. Is it really? Okay. But yeah. Yeah, this is. Uh, can you do a demonstration that, that you can. So here's the stick, which I don't know which stick it is. Is it the right stick or the. Uh, uh, yeah, somewhere here, this here. Uh, it's gotta be. Oh, it has two stick. I don't I, know which one are they. Well, I will say just the controller. There's a left stick and this is gonna be the right stick right you here. You know, they could at least put, like, I don't know, a letter. Uh, well, well, you gotta remember that one of them will work as a D pad. I don't know if I can. But I guess we should call this the left stick. That should be the left stick. Obviously, yeah. this is the one you'll be holding with of, your left oh, hand. Oh, wait, wait. Look right. at this side. He actually has a D-pad, <laughs> what I've been saying. Well, yeah. So you got all the three moving components of the PS3. Wait, wait, wait. That looks like an Xbox 360 D-pad. Did they yeah, steal they wonder, it? I wonder. Yeah. But anyway, going back to the point, can you elongate the thing? Uh, the back part of it, it gets longer, I believe. Come on. Oh, there you are. You can also not do it. Oh, it Clicks. sounds better when it clicks, yeah. Ooh, ooh I, I couldn't get on camera. I need to get a little bit more far. Right. Yeah, let me see. Ready? Hang on, let me get up. Go ahead. 
Okay, so that's the actual. Now push it back, of course. So you gotta use this button. Okay, all right. So that's the top shot elite for the PlayStation Three. And this scope. Nice. Yeah, he has a scope as well. Yeah. Uh, no, nothing too. Oh yeah, there's this reload thing. But Which I it's... always love. Uh, it's like a shotgun. And it has well. this thing for the Wii for some reason. For some reason, Since yeah. It's plagiarism. No. <laughs> First this, and then this D-pad. I know. I'm just impressed they have two sticks and one D-pad. I didn't expect that much. This is a lot. This is really a lot. And then we have the next one, which is the one made for the Xbox 360. Which is apparently Cabell's thing. And it's the same thing. Let me see. We got two sticks. and Same thing. Just well, different button inputs. They have a difference. No, they're the same gun. Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. Except okay. this one has a Cabela's. But who? Cabela's logo, yes. But that doesn't mean that much, except you got a Cabela's version. Somehow. Well, the Cabela's made on the 360. Uh, they kind of good since the um, also, what was the name look of at this. Uh, survival? Look at this. Look at this. Do you see something? This hand. Oh yeah, the hand over there. They will have it on the other Apparently, one. Apparently, this is the sync button. If I can guess, obvious. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, uh, so they extend the same long and everything, huh? Same length. Yep. Cool. Everything just with. That's it. That's not All like right. new. Just the same old. So the thing. same. So, so the same uh, top shot elite. Yes, Speaking of top shot, here's this thing, the top gun. Except the problem is well, um, unfortunately broken. This um, one I happened to break it last cheap. night. Uh, How did I break it? Break it? Yes, I came to my shop on the middle of the night trying to find a tool, and I didn't turn on the light. And then I just pushed one of the shares, that high chair right here. I pushed that one, and then it just fell. And this gun was there. It's so fragile. I wouldn't recommend buy this um, EMS. Top Gun Elite 3. It, this, does, it has a laser, but it's kind of disorienting. Yes, this, um, this gun... the trigger is kind of bad. Yeah, this gun is made so cheap. The first thing that broke off was the trigger. And I believe that one is laying around somewhere here. I saw it last time. Da, 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 da. Anybody see a trigger? A trigger? Uh, I didn't see that. Careful. A tiger, okay? Or a tiger. It's a trigger. Tiger, trigger, whatever. <laughs> well, that... That thing. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't see it, so we we forget about that. But yeah, the first thing that broke was I was playing is the actual trigger. So I had to make this heavy duty out of a trucking component, which looks cool. And it worked very good, actually. Yeah. And uh, we've been playing House of the Dead with it, and Time, Time Crisis. crisis and then I broke it last night by accident. But so the thing I broke it. This thing is made so cheap, <laughs> so I can tell the public this is made so cheap. Even though it works with the PlayStation 3, it works with the Xbox, uh, but it's made so cheap. It breaks. Yes. I still got the sensor attached to my TV, by the way, because those are the actual sensors. But anyways, we put that one out of the way. And we, let's do the other stuff. And we're going to move to my favorite of all. This is my favorite of all. I, I won't say it's the best. I will call this my favorite only. Yes. Why is my favorite? Well, there is a couple reasons. Reason number one, it's huge. It's long. It's this is the longest peripheral. Uh, how do you say peripheral? Oh, how do you say peripheral? Peripheral? You gotta teach me English, guys. Oh. How do you call this? A peripheral? Well, I haven't learned most of the words. The words for this? And even if I do, like, I wouldn't know <laughs> what they mean that much. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Okay, we start with that one for now. So this is, seems to be my. How to say my biggest accessory when it comes to light gun games. It's the biggest thing so uh, the good thing about this gun is that uh, besides being big, big, it's and actually, more big, it's actually not big. Look, here's the same one except oh. about this. These are actually just kind of accessories for the uh, thing to make it look cool and that, like a sniper well, rifle. Well, that's the way I was going. But sticking to the rifle, which is, this is a rifle okay. made by Pelican, I can guarantee you. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it's sideways. Now, oh, sideways, yeah. Oh, yeah, I had it, but thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, what are we saying? So, yeah, the pro so yeah, it's not made by Konami for a shocking reason. I don't know why. It's mm -hmm. just that makes no sense. Well, um, I will assume Konami and uh, Pelican had a deal to make Ooh, this. We haven't um, talked about the features yet. Yeah. There's oh. this burst auto fire by itself, oh. auto reload, or nothing. Yeah, so yes, uh. We love this rifle because this rifle managed to work on the original Xbox, which had the collection for the full series, which is Silent Scope 1, 2, 3, and Silent Scope 3 X, EX, something like that. So anyway, uh, I wonder where I put the disc, the game. But this, uh, this um, 
rifle uh, was the only way for you to play um, uh, Silas no, Cup. Silas Cup with an actual yeah. light gun. Because uh, you did you guys know that um, the Silas Cup series on the PS2 does not support a gun con? Mm -hmm. Did you guys know that? No. Okay. Yeah, you you are um, you are forced to play with the controller. Which is, is a missed opportunity. Look at this. Hold up a second. I'm trying to find it. Judge Dredd for the PS One. Why are you it's, bringing that out? It's an odd game. Like it's not made by a famous company, and it supports the gun con. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it does. That's kind of infuriating. Very, very, because uh, yeah, uh, Silas Cup one, two, three, for the PlayStation Two, they don't support the light gun. Uh, well, at least not here in America. So then the the rifle uh, does actually support the game on the Xbox. That's why I love it. But besides that, it's it's just the biggest of them all. And uh, another cool feature is that you can convert it on a shotgun which uh, we have done with the second one. So yeah, there's a connector for this and this, the scope, I guess here, somewhere. Yeah, that's where it goes, of course. And apparently this. Uh, look at oh, that. Yeah, the big, it, the big laser bit. thing. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, kind of straight. Okay, we got it. And you have the then future. The, oh yeah, then there's a kickback action. Yeah, the kickback button is, uh, it will, it will, there's a motor, a motor inside that will kick back, of course, the name say it right. <laughs> yes. Betty. Then there's this, D-pad apparently. Um, yeah, that's a D-pad in the shape of an, uh, the actual stick. However, that that is a downside for it. That that won't work well. I I, I hate the way it works. So. Then the weird things, the scope trigger and sensitivity. Oh, I never mess with that one. I Why mean, do they exist anyway? I, mean, I wonder. I never use it. I never use it. And even if you could, what would change? Well, it's. Okay, so we're, okay, let's just move on. Well, uh, the next we have uh, the 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 blaster. Which are made by Mad Cats. Yeah, the blaster has a place in my heart as well. And there is a, there's a couple good reasons for it. Reason number one is because besides the big rifle right there, you have a machine gun. <laughs> Thanks to the blaster. So if you, want, if you like one-handed stuff, this would be for you. Oh yeah, very light. You won't get tired playing all day with that thing. And then... Uh, the good uh, thing about it, I also like, besides that it has auto fire and all this good stuff. Burst auto shotgun and the auto reload. The other good thing is, is uh, when you press uh, the trigger, it will vibrate like uh, like you're really shooting and you feel a lot of vibration with it. Yeah. So like, there's this button. Let's compare that one with the PlayStation 2 version. So here's this PlayStation 2 version. The difference is um, the auto reload. Which is, has to be one of the most kind of sickening things about this. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's no auto fire by itself, which for some reason I used this before and it shot like six bullets and then it auto reloads. It's yeah. kind of annoying. Uh, so when you say shoot six bullets, does it, use, does it use all the bullets? Well, no, it doesn't no. shoot all bullets at once. However, if you don't shoot um, enough of the bullets with the holding and let go, It'll reload when you press it. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that we play on Ninja Soul. It happened. So yeah. let's put it uh, uh, together for a comparison. I want to see physically. So first of all, a nitpick. Uh, the blaster logo is not on this side for some reason. Oh, uh, they moved the blaster logo. Okay, so let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. See, that's funny. I know it's nitpicky, but I had to mention it. Well, I know. I didn't notice that until now that you say it. I didn't it. notice that before. You did? Oh, cool. Yeah. So, oh yeah. And it... In terms of features, this has, um, well, Gun Con 1, 2, and Normal. I don't oh, know. I forgot about that. Yeah, this is a good thing. Yeah, you. Got, I don't know what Normal is for, but I know what Gun Con and Gun Con 2 are, and they're amazing. They have the same trigger stuff, um, if you can see it's... Yeah, and this one don't have uh, the Gun Con, I mean, any other type of support, just one support. Oh, and obviously the PS2 does not have the memory card, the Xbox Oh, has. yeah, this one you can put, it's her, the memory card. Is in there a reason Let me show that one, let me see that one. Yeah. Wait, and see they have that fancy cover. Okay, yeah, you can search your, your memory card for the Xbox. But why, how many memory does the, the Xbox even have? Oh, know. the Xbox has like 500 blocks or something like that, which was a lot. Which... And the, why would you need to use it unless you play almost every single Xbox? That Only, is, yeah, I agree with you on that. So of let's... Xbox, speaking of Xbox, the Duke. Is that what they call it? Yes, that's what people call it, I guess. Oh, I hate that controller. 
the well, except the logo. The logo is the best thing in that control. So here, the best logo so ever made. So let's talk about features. Well, before the features, there's this. It kind of looks generic, but to be fair, this is their first um, console, so wow. I wouldn't blame them too much for it. Okay, yes, I just don't like the fact that it's, it's too much big. Oh, well, I, I like the big rifle, but I don't like the big controller. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I'm somehow mm. used to it. I don't know how. It looks easy. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know why. It's just, it's just mine. It looks twice the size of your hand, Sebastian. Let me see. Let me see if how oh, big it looks is easier. your hand. Gosh, I'm smaller yet. <laughs> well, you keep growing. I mean, you keep growing. Oh. What? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, so, yes. Uh, the only good thing I like about the controller is uh, the, the logo, Xbox logo right there. So, this D-pad. This is a D-pad? Ooh, that's ugly. That's really ugly. I don't know why. It's, so, there's... And there's two new blood, uh, buttons. So, the two buttons. Black and white buttons. Yes, that's what they're called. Yeah, they put them on that, that specific why? position. Why? Most of the games don't use this thing, like... And let's talk about the sticks. Look at this. This one has this. Mm -hmm. And this one has this odd shape. Yeah, they are a little different. And look at this. This is this weird thing. Uh, it is. Very ugly. Two memory cards, though. Nice. Okay, so then... Uh, Let's start with... Well, I think we need to move to the bear. Uh, well, you know what? We got next to us, we got this big uh, shotgun. So first, Red, this tiny. Wii shotgun. Yeah, the Wii shotgun. Yeah. This includes this nunchuck. Yeah, nunchuck is included in this thing. That's a very good feature. Yeah. The trigger, obviously. This. Whoa! Be careful, don't fall. Oh, you're gonna break my guns. This reload feature and this thing. Oh, not that thing. Oh, this that thing. one right there, yes. I, I believe it's for releasing the actual controller, I believe. Yes. There's not much to say, it's just a shotgun. And the Wii was a time where there's so many gun controllers. They made so many, so many guns for the Wii. So let's put that one on the side, let's move to the next the, one, which is uh, the, the, official the official Wii Nintendo. Sucker. And you can put any controller, including Motion Plus. For some reason, this is pink. Never, never mind that. Yes, well... Uh, it kind of looks weird. Well, uh, uh, we don't have any cross around to use a pink controller, but the controller happens to be pink. So, uh, uh, yeah, this is the Sucker, the officially, the official Nintendo. So I heard people complaining that it's kind of, some people complaining that it's kind of not used. Uh, the, this, this style is kind of bad like because um it's not free mm. and like i thought i didn't mind it when i was younger but then i just realized what happens if you move it like if you were to, you could mess up your movements i guess if if you were aiming or everywhere else it's gonna be hard to play first person shooters However, the only game I played with the Zapper is Link's Crossbow Training, which is, I guess, a kind of fun minigame collection, despite it being kind of short. I remember that one, but we're giving too much information to one gun. Let's move a step to... Here's let's the move in a step to next one. Well, that one I actually like. The Not... blue... We have the blue Motion Plus, which looks fitting. Yeah. It's just... Oh yeah, so the, the, blue. Yeah, yeah, the controller. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of in bad shape. But yeah, part it of is. It broke. It, it broke. Yeah. So this part broke. Right this. There. So yeah. See this? This is supposed to be where the thing. You know, you can oh. get the shape. It, so it's easy for it to do this. Yeah. But yeah, it's a gun. That's yeah, it. it's, a, it's a funny gun. We're missing a piece on the top right here. So. So too bad. Yeah, yeah unlikely, but I can fix that. Oops. So next, well, uh, let's start with this, I guess. That one, okay. This third party? I don't know if it's a third party gun. It That's for the PlayStation Move, right? Yeah, the PS3, which is PS3. for the Move. And only the Move controller. It's kind of useless in some games. Why it's is kinda that? Look oh. at it, it's kind of hard to push. That's not cool. Oh, I agree with you on that. Yeah. All right, so that's a PS3 controller. I mean, accessory for the PS3. And, and and I like to mention this part. It's what's the point of this? There's no connector, so oh, it broke off. I see. I would say so. Yeah, and then, well, let's continue moving on. Uh, to... Oh, talking about PS3, we have this one right here. Can we can we take a look at the these ones here? So here's the move guns. Yeah. There you go. Um. Oh, oh, hold up a second. <laughs> yeah, this looks cool. Yes. I love this thing. It's just just feels cool. The problem is, uh, what is this? Is this supposed to be for some sort of scope? Maybe. I that, have no idea. So here's because... some stuff. Look, here's this 
Um, you can talk, you know this? No, I don't know how to talk. Okay, so here's this thing, whatever that's supposed to be. I don't know what is it for. It has three, two, one, and it don't seem to affect this thing, except... So yeah, it's kind of like the Cabela's gun, except it uses the move and controller. Okay, so which game we can play on the PS3 that we own? So we have the House of the Dead 3, 4, and Overkill, and I guess Cabela's games, assuming they support the uh, Oh yeah, Resident yeah. Evil Schmups, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Rails Shooters, on Rails Shooters. What was the name of that one? Uh, Umbrella Chronicles, right? Or, yeah, Umbrella yeah, but you put Yeah, you put it away from my camera, that's a problem. You gotta put it like that so I can see. So yeah, Umbrella and Dark Side Chronicles. Then there's the buttons. Why is the why are there only triangled square buttons? That's simple, because of this thing. Okay. Which oh yeah, you can attach the besides attaching the move, you can attach the. It's kind what, of What's the name of this accessory part right I now? I have no idea. I guess I should call it the <laughs> nunchuck. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so cool, but I wish more games actually utilize yeah. this thing. I I kind of have a soft spot for it. Yeah, I know. And uh, well, by the way, uh, it, we need to mention that this move. Part of it will uh, lead up. Uh, um, I believe it, it lead up on blue and red, isn't it? Well, it depends on what player or game it is. It could be pink in oh, Sack we... Boys Move demo for How some reason. How did they do that to put so many colors? It's just a shame it, most games didn't utilize the move. Good thing PS4 managed to use the VR in action, but not the stick though. I okay. Think it's overshadowed. All right, let's move on to the next one. Then there's. This thing. This is what happens if it was empty. Yeah, that's the empty one. Let's start with the gun con. Well, well, uh, we need to say that's the that is our most, uh, my most loved gun of them all. Mm -hmm. I Remember, I said that I like the rifle over oh. all of them. I like it, but this is my more um, relic one that I have. Mm -hmm. this, this, is, this is made in '96. Let me take a quick look at that. Yeah, this is uh, 1996. Uh, when they released the release it to arcade, I believe it was earlier than that. I can't recall. When they released it to the arcade, this was a big hit. I, I believe it was 1994 when Point Blank released. Maybe, yeah, maybe. I just can't recall. But I just know this gun, it's... It's, um, it's beautiful. It, looks, it's, it is beautiful. It looks like some sort of blaster. It's, <laughs> I just love this thing. Yeah. Well, it, it it's been, just... And the best part is this is the start of an era of gun con. Ooh. Well, it's, it's pretty much Namco. Namco is pretty much the one it's responsible for this awesomeness thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, the pro this... Here's a few problems, of course. Well, first of all, well, it's not much of problems. The buttons are kind of far away. It, make, it kind of makes it hard for the games. Yeah, we, but you can't complain about that when this, when this gun looks. Mm -hmm. Looks so uh, unique for a gun. It doesn't look like a realistic gun at all. Mm -hmm. And it is a gun, a light gun. They make it so white with that extended part where it says Namco. I think they made it gray, honestly, probably because it's the PlayStation 1. It, that makes sense. I never thought about and that. And I think the orange, probably because it's Namco. Namco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's pretty cool. Namco is aligned with orange and red. Oh, yeah. The and also because of What is it, Sebastian? The orange part I can explain. Yeah, go what? ahead. Uh, say, cops can have, uh, say if kids brought that thing outside, like young kids, thinking it's like a toy, mm -hmm. uh, cops would think it's a real gun. So, oh. uh, um, people will make fake guns or toys and game controllers. They often put orange so cops know that uh, it's fake. Oh, I, that makes a lot of sense, actually. That actually oh, makes so, sense. Also, didn't I mention there's a cable, so why would they think that anyway? <laughs> Okay. Okay. okay well. Uh, Enough the gun con one. Right yeah. Now. Let's let's move from the gun con one. To the gun con two. We gotta... Well. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad that uh, Namco released a gun con two. Uh -huh. uh, but it wasn't really necessary, considering some games are co backwards compatible with this. But it is an improvement. It has a. Well, deep... you gotta you gotta you gotta tell you gotta you gotta look closely and realize that they made it so cheap compared to the previous one. Very unfortunate. Look, listen to this. Yeah, that's solid plastic. Yeah, that's uh, recycled plastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, the gun con, oh, well, so... F so here's the difference. Uh, well, in terms of design and uh, button placements. So it doesn't have the Namco logo 
Oh, well, you gotta have it somewhere. Well, or don't. Okay, it's right very there. tiny. It's very <laughs> tiny. I don't, know, I, I don't know why. I wonder why they did it. Let me see. Let me oh. see. What's the model name right there? It's MPC 106. Made in 2000 and made in Japan. This one is made in China. And that one. And it's an MPC 103. That's really weird. So, well, I, I know Japan has pretty cool stuff. But and let's talk about the button stuff. First oh. is a new D pad. Yeah, this one has a deep pad yes. So you don't have to aim, um, I don't know, at the stuff with, with, if you're not really properly calibrated. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's for the menu. Now we get in the menu without having to, to rely on the actual uh, pointer if it's not well calibrated. Uh, we move into that later, Sebastian. Let, let, me, let me continue with the gun count too. Oh, yeah, I got a, hey, Steven, yeah. I got a, I got a, um, uh, I got to ask for this before I forget. Uh, for some reason, uh, these gun counts right here, that have this style, they don't work anymore. We have three of them and they don't work. I don't know exactly what's going on with this. If somebody knows, please let us know so we can fix this, because uh, we love to use them all. I mean, if one of them break, have a backup, will be good. However, the one that looks like a nut, like this one right here, they all work. So that tells me it's like a different gun con. But if you take a close look, the part number is the same, MPC-106, and the one that has the actual nut, that one is a MPC-106, so they're the same gun with a different plug, so two different plugs. Let's take a closer look now. So let's continue. Well, let me take a closer look, yeah, there it is. Okay, uh, so first well, I gotta mention, oh, here is, the, here is the missing trigger from that EMS top gun yes. that I was telling you. Yeah, this is the first thing that broke off. The gun is so cheap. I wouldn't recommend buying it though. So anyway, moving on. So uh, first of all, the, the PS1 gun con does not say gun con on it. GC, gun con, or er, system product two. Oh wow, yeah. They, they like, that's an odd difference, but why? It, it looks cool, but why? It works better than any gun. Regardless, it looks so cheap, it works better than any gun. It's so accurate. Mm -hmm. So the gun sights, they seem to be different. But they don't seem to, I'm not so sure they seem to have a different impact on the calibration. But so yeah, they said it, remember the A and B buttons? Now they're kind of closer, so you don't have to. Oh, that's a good improvement. They move it back a little. Let's uh, take on consideration that they, they put a bottom on the, on the bottom of it. I forgot about that, yes. Yeah, that's, that's so reachable. Move, so they have to move the wire, of course. Yeah, a little bit. All right, let's move from the uh, gun con too. To the, to one the, of the weirdest guns. To the yeah, very upgraded one. Kind of... And the end of the gun con. Can you unwrap that thing? Yeah. And put it on camera, because you put it way away from me. Yeah. We only have one gun con uh, We actually have two. I just don't know where we put the other one. So what this one says, it says uh, NC109. So three digits after the 106. This is weird. And also... this was made in China. Back to China. Oh, okay. <laughs> so go back to China. When was this made? Oh, this one don't have the year? That's kind of weird. Let me see. Let me see here. Let me get a closer to move it. System product three. But yeah, this is way at the time when um, Namco and Bandai combined. So they're called Namco and Bandai before Bandai Namco. Oh yeah, this is the era. Of, this is from the era of Namco Bandai. Oh man, I didn't realize that. Uh, <laughs> Wow, I, I really like to see, ba uh, I'm sorry, I really like to see Namco only because they rock at this, but when they joined forces with Bandai, they created better games. They created better games, like uh, Science A, of course, I love that game. So first, the D-pen was replaced by the B button. Also, there's no A and B button. Okay, I mean, there are the B buttons, but these are B1 and 2. Where's the A1 and 2? Oh yeah, the star dual sticks. It kind of looks weird. Oh, yeah. it, this one has two sticks, which one works at D-pad, right? So obviously they click, but this has to be one of the weirdest looking gun cons though. Oh, it's it has like... a click in built in. And how about this one? They both click. Obviously, what? why do you think they have the- I had no idea until you just showed me. And then they have these uh, other two keys on, oh, clean that up a little. Oh, so I can see that lens. Let's see. It has some sort of gear. Yeah, metal Why? gear. <laughs> oh, there's the A buttons. They're in out there places. Okay, so it's got a, it's a very upgraded version compared to the Gun Con 2. Too bad the Gun Con product died. Also, let's see this plastic. I'm not so sure what it is, but it's probably better plastic. 
It's a little better than the Gun Con 2, but uh, the color, I love the color Gun Con 2. Yes, it's more one, orange. This, this is almost yellow. Yeah, it kind of looks, well, sadly, more a little more kind of ugly this way. And this one don't have a bottom on the bottom. Yes. All right, so is that it for the guns? Do we have any more guns around? Oh, nope, we have this you know, third party one. You know, we skipped one of the important guns. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh, what would we skip? Uh, why, why would we skip this one? Uh, this one... I haven't used yet. But this but is um, this a third party gun con too. A third party gun con too. It, it supports the bottom on the bottom. Which is tiny. Oh, I didn't see this. What but is that this? one is a small one. Vibration, right. Special A. What is oh, that? Oh, yeah, it has a switch for, for. What is that? Yeah, this is vibration, but this is a special A cable thing. I don't know what is it. I for. don't know what that is for. We're going to have to look into the manual for that. So here's some differences comparing. And well, can you hold it? That one is a Gun Con and a Gun Con 2. See it? Oh, yeah, not compare, contrasting the. Yeah, I'm saying this one works as a Gun Con and a Gun Con 2. You know that, right? Yes, so here's the triggers. Look, here's Gun Con 2 mode. Oh, oh. I can't see it. Let me see. And there's Gun Con or well, normal. Which, what does normal mean we anyway? We don't know what that is yet. And this is they... Speaking of normal, this is normal. Auto reload, auto fire, and auto reload. Why didn't they make out auto fire by itself? I wonder. I wonder. But yes, this gun. This it's... is a reload. Oh, I didn't know that. Why I didn't know that before? It's from... That's amazing. I'm not so sure if anyone will notice it. Oh, but... how did you figure that out? I don't so know. Quick. Because of this thing and this. I can see I can, some sort you, of If you want to show me, you need to put it on the camera if you want to show me. So here's this hole. I can't see it. Okay. It's really hard. Yeah, this 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 kind of crease. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. That you yeah, gotta push it. Yeah, that, all right. That's. Oh, anyway. So, coming back to the point, uh, I get the feeling this is gonna be a, a, a an upgraded version of Gun Con Two. Actually, yes. I get the feeling I'm gonna be using this one instead of the Gun Con. Mainly because the auto fire. Auto fire. <laughs> yeah. This different looking D pad, which kind of looks like Xbox 360's D pad. Well, not only because of the auto fire, I'm all, all also gonna be using it because it's compatible with the Gun Con games. So, oh yeah, in case you're wondering, this is made by Yobo. Yobo, yeah, Yobo used to make cool stuff back in the days, which they I believe this disappear or something because I don't see them anymore around. Okay, so Sebastian was telling me about another gun. This one. Oh yeah, I should put it back. Oh, the gun, yeah, the. Yeah, this is for the arcade gun from, uh, from SNK. Oh, it has a switch in the back? Wait, I didn't I see that in the past. Nice on Bottom. Yeah, that's that's for throwing grenades, by the way. Oh. <laughs> that's for throwing grenades. And this one is made for my gun. favorite video game company. This is my oh. favorite. SNK. Oh, SNK is my favorite video game company company nice. of yes. them all the problem is are kind of obscure even if terry made it to smash ultimate which is one of the biggest games ever which one yeah terry made it in super smash Bros. oh ultimate. yeah yeah I even thought... then most people don't still mention snk it's kind of a tragic time for snk i know um too bad uh too bad the uh, snk is, is is not as big as they used to be and not popular as they used to be but it's just it's just amazing how they design the very first good games in the market. This thing seems to be used for on rail oh, shooters. This is kind of broken a bit. Let me see that. Is it? Why do you think so? It's. Oh no, it's, it's missing one bolt right there. Uh, and the switch. That's so solid. It's metal. <laughs> it's a metal. This thing is used it's for rusty too. Games. And there's this cable. It's clear. Yeah, clear cable. All oh, right. Yeah, we forgot one more gun. Oh, we got another gun. The Mad Cat's Sega Dreamcast gun. Ah, uh, I saw that. Oh yeah, we have, yeah, we have that one as well. So uh, here's these things, first of all. Yeah, when you press on the Whenever, trigger, they will light up. Yeah, which is so cool. They light up like this, in uh, sequentially, like like a gun. That's cool. That's pretty cool. There's this weird D pad. I don't know why. It's like. Well, there. too. Too bad for the Dreamcast. We only have one shooting game at the moment, which is House of the Dead. Two. The disc inside or the yeah, no, no, it's in the Dreamcast. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the Dreamcast was... Okay, so here is a disc. The house oh, of the dead too. Dreamcast. So, okay, uh, yeah, we have this other gun. So here's, of 
course, the features, because it's Mad Cats. Yeah, Mad Cats again. Obviously. The They're normal, really Mad Cats. Normal, auto-reload, auto-fire reload. Why? The trigger. There's the A and B buttons, which are... They kind of look bad. They, yeah, yeah, they look a little ugly, but... Of course, uh, there's the VMU. <laughs> yeah, the, you can insert the card there, just like the Xbox version of it. Why is Mad Cats obsessed with grips, though? We what? The grips. They're, oh. They always put grips into, oh, like... Oh, yeah, they do, yeah. I don't know why... I, it, they they must really have some obsession with these things. <laughs> yeah, they must have. Um, we forgot another gun. We have another gun? Oh, yeah, yeah, we have. Oh, well, not a real um, not <clears throat> really a gaming gun, but well, it's Well, it, it's, cool. it's not less important than the other ones because this one is what's fixed. When they order break, this is... it will fix it. Yeah. So, yeah, this is it, like, made one of uh, one by, of by one of the well-known um, construction companies, I guess. Uh, you would say tool company, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, Craftman. Yeah, Craftman mm -hmm. used to be very popular. And I think I remember them making boots. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, I guess that's all of, about the guns. So we're going to do some gameplay. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are those bongos doing right there? Oh, I want to play yeah. Donkey Konga now. <laughs> <laughs> the Donkey Konga controllers. You yeah. know Namco. Yeah. Who makes those bongos now that I see it? Uh, co developed the game Donkey Konga. But who makes the, the bongos? I don't know. Donkey Let's take a quick look. Did Donkey Kong make it? It has to have something on the back. DK made it. <laughs> right there. <laughs> GameCube, where's the Namco? No, that's just the logo for it. <laughs> <I know>, just... <laughs> You're okay. messing me up. Alright, so this one I can't read. Nintendo GameCube. Oh, flip and it. And it say. Oh, oh, it... oh, flip it. It's not over yet. What do you mean? Okay, so here, there, like this. You want to put it straight up? Okay, I see. Apparently, Namco wasn't even mentioned here. I guess because they didn't really make the drum. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. it's very cool. Also, it has a built-in microphone. Oh, well, mainly for the clapping. Well, getting all these guns out of the way, um, I want to say uh, the consoles that support these, these guns right here, my favorite ones. Uh, the Xbox, of course, which supports the rifle. It's right here. Um, this one has it's been modified with the executor. I don't know exactly what the executor does. I personally I disconnect it because sometimes the screen go black or uh, the light will turn red. So I prefer to disconnect it. But it's it's a modified Xbox, of course. Oh, I still have my. Did I tell you I already have my so my sensors? My sensor for the EMS top gun. And the unfortunate fat PS3. It's kind of infamous for being ridiculously expensive. Oh, it really, I can't recall. Six hundred. What? Yes, I'm not joking. Like six hundred more than the Switch. Yeah. And my um, sensors for the EMS light gun, they're still here. But however, it's kind of in a worn out shape. It's <laughs> well, aka okay, just this one. It oh yeah. Falls. Well, you you can fix that with easy. You can turn it like this, and then you have it straight up, a straight left. <laughs> Anyways, um, we have uh, the fat PS3. What were you saying about it? It is ridiculously expensive. Yes. It's yeah. because of all this junk. Like, look at this. So yeah, they include all that stuff over there on the fat PS3. That's why it was so expensive, I guess, right? I guess so. Which makes no sense. Luckily, they made the Slim, which is more cheaper. However, it could not play PS2 games for some reason. Yeah, so this PlayStation 3 is now considered my Hugo. Did I say it right? You need to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Hugo? Um, uh, no, or a Jewel? Jewel? Oh, Jewel, yeah, yeah. Jewel, <laughs> Gem, Jewel, whatever. Gem, okay, whatever. Jewel. Yeah, so this system is like, why is it so dirty, guys? Can you clean it for me? This is so messed up. Well, the Xbox, it's... It's actually my favorite, but not the best. It's my favorite just for, we're coming back to the same topic. It's my favorite for supporting the rifle in a silence cop series with the light gun. This one is a modified Xbox. Is, so it has the executor chip mode on it. And then we have next to it, uh, the fat PS3. Well, what were you telling me about this system? So yeah, this thing is really expensive, look. Oh, yeah, because they, put too, they added too much stuff to it. Yeah. Besides the PS PlayStation 2 support games. Look below, there's USBs. Yeah, and it's got four ports under there, yes. And it's huge. Yeah, this is my... Uh, Jewel. Jewel. Oh, I, I said it right the first time. This is my Jewel. Oh gosh, I did not know I could do this. 
Oh, you can move the logo. I think because I expected people to flip it sideways, that's... Uh... Makes a lot of sense. Oh, it's got another of my favorite logos on top of it. <laughs> we put a sticker. Oh, wow. So, yes, uh, this is a Yule. Uh, how do you say A Yule. 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 I'm getting closer. So, yeah, this is this is my jam. It's more easy. <laughs> yeah. This is my jam because uh, this is how I play uh, PlayStation 2 games on HDMI. Yeah, let's... which which do you know after playing on HDMI I have to convert uh, the signal back to composite so I can p connect to the um, CRT TVs right did you know that oh, yeah. Not, yeah, okay, okay. So it, it has to be one of these cables uh, yes oh yeah it, well uh, first you know what I skipped one big point here now that I mention it uh, this Xbox has this pound, so-called pound adapter, or whatever you want to call it. This is an HDMI adapter that plugs on the back of the Xbox, and it will output in 480p or 720p, whatever the game supports, which I have found useful only for 480p so far. So after you connect it on the HDMI, you connect it on the HDMI, then you bring the HDMI cable, which I hope I can find it here. Uh, I don't see it around, so excuse me for a second. Oh, I can... Can you turn on the light again so I can show it on the back? No, get in front of it, like right there. Okay, so there is the connection. Oh my gosh, it's too dark, you can't see it. So, well, I'm gonna grab the cable, which is this right here. This one will come out of the Xbox. And after it comes here, we have to split the signal. Where is my splitters? Oh, uh, let me bring my splitter. So we have to split the signal. This is one of the splitters right here. The Radio Shack splitter. Can you get it for me? Okay, so that's the splitter. After you bring the signal from them, um, you have to split it. It's got uh, one input in, and, and then output. it's got outputs. Oh, it's got three in, and it got two out. So it's, yeah, so it's got two outputs. That makes no sense. So then you have to output one of the signals back to HDMI and then convert it to composite or composite. Then you need this adapter. Can you plug it into the HDMI cable for me? HDMI cable? Yeah, and, and uh, no, this one right here. So then, yeah, you need that one. So you need to, to reconvert the signal from, from for, uh, 480p to regular 480, and then so you can play with any con con console or a light gun console. Or anything. Of course. And for the PlayStation 3, which is uh, has a HDCP uh, restriction, for that one we use this tiny one, which I uh, intentionally removed the cover because it gets too hot. Right. Yeah, so this little splitter will bypass the uh, HDCP signal restriction, so you'll be able to record with uh, with the, any device like Elgato or any other capturing Speaking device. Elgato, this is Elgato. So Elgato, which is one of the, I guess, well-known capture devices. After we split the signal, we send one to Elgato so we can record. And then, uh, well, you know what? We also skip another thing. Yeah, you, you send the signal to this uh, video car. Hmm? Yeah, you can, you can call this a video car because that, that's what it is. It's a video car. You get the HDMI signal, then... Uh, Input, input it, and after that, it will convert it to 1080p or even 4K if you have a 4K uh, capture device. Which this is just 60 frames per second HD. Yeah, this is only 1080p, so it will upscale my 480p um, video to the 1080p on this one, so I can record it right here. Or 720, whatever you or like. Or 720, of course, whatever you like. You said it right, and I've been repetitive. <laughs> uh, then that's one way of playing. The other way of playing that I have is, well, the one I, I don't like, but is the one that seems to work best when you wanna use a link system. Because if you wanna play uh, Time Crisis, how you call it, uh, multiplayer, yeah, on link. Two link on two screens, you need to have uh, a link cable, which is this one right here on the bottom. Well, um, I don't know if I can get a close look into that. It's, well, you got the idea, you gotta... See, we have one. another light, can you keep the light? That one right there, we'll make it more easier. Yeah, this is a modified PS2 to have, well, just this thing, that's it. There's nothing really Can else. you give me more light? 
Oh, I forgot the news. That one right there. Okay, so well, this is a modified uh, uh, PS2, of course. So, so you can take off the disc from the top. Which is way more uh, better than this eject button. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. You, you've got less chances maybe of breaking the disc and stuff, crashing it, if you're very careful still, though. Hmm. Um, so, yes, uh, yeah. you, need, you need to have, uh, you need to have the, the link cable. Let me disconnect it. Now that I have light, I can disconnect it. So oh that, yeah, the problem yeah, is... Yeah, give me some light to the link. Yeah. So here's yeah. a problem with the link. Yeah, tell me, tell me. It only works on certain models of the PS2. Can oh. you hold the PlayStation 2 so I can insert this back in? And okay. give me some lighting. Good, good, good. Keep holding. Hard. There you go. Yes, uh, yeah, not every model has the link cable. Come like back. this, our yeah, PS2? Yeah, yeah. The Slim don't have it. And that one on the bottom. Which doesn't have it give either. Me light. Give me light. Oh, it doesn't have it. It just yeah, has it the does not have it. So yes, uh, you gotta have a, give me light again. You gotta have a PlayStation, a fat PlayStation 3 that has the- You mean two? <laughs> yeah, fat PlayStation 2. The other PlayStation 3 got on my mind somehow. So yeah, you gotta have a, a fat PlayStation 2 that supports, I believe they start making this from the 50,000 series. Yeah, because the slim is like 70,000 series. This is like 39 series, 39,000 series. So yeah, the 39,000 series up to 49, if they made any, they uh, support this link. So you can have uh, two players Yep. Uh, on two different screens. You know what I thought was a missed opportunity? Tell me. So yeah, if there were two link cable um, slots, imagine the, um, playing eight player multiplayer or possibly four players, or okay, I reverse it. Four players or possibly eight with four screens. Because the PS2 supports two players. Yeah, you could have make it, you could have make it for a four player if you do a, a four system link, of course. Yeah. But uh, I will say that would be too much. I'm so happy that they included two players. Yeah. But uh, the only way to do that, like I said earlier, you gotta have the version with the link cable. Then you gotta have two consoles and two copies of the game and two TVs. Oh, and two TVs. Well. Can you open that one so I can see the other game? Open the PlayStation 2. So here's yeah, that one. my PlayStation 2, I guess. Yeah, so in order to play, you gotta have, you gotta have two copies. You gotta have two consoles, you gotta have two copies. And then you gotta link him with the link cable. Also, from... you need a memory card. Oh, he also needs the memory card. We tried without the memory card and it didn't work for some reason. And I can't wait to play Time Crisis 3. Can you give me Time Crisis 3? <clears throat> Now well, that we have two copies, can you open it? I need to see if it has a, the game and the manual. This one oh. is ours. This one, um, which one is ours? This one or this one? What do you mean? They both ours. Well, what are you talking about? Okay. Uh, well, I'm talking. Well, this thing. Well, this has this thing. So clearly, this one is the one we have before uh, this one. Ah, oh, okay. So which one is ours? I guess this one, which is what we had before. I thought both one was ours. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you need to be more specific because that will that will look like we don't own one of them games. Yeah, the problem is yes. So how can you specify that we only own one? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, we have two copies of the disc. Okay. And do we own them? Yep, we oh. do own these copies. So why do you call one ours? <laughs> Sorry, I meant the one like we own one of them before this. I just realized there's a sticker. Oops. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the one we got with the PS2. Okay, yeah, okay. You meant to say one of them we had it for a long time and then we just brought a new one and we don't know which one it is mm -hmm. out of them two. Okay, all right, that's well. Before and we... those are the only two games compatible with the iLink, right? Well, well, it's not the only games, but the problem is there's like just, I don't know, 10 or something games that are use iLink, which is not a good sign. As far as I remember, there were only four. I remember it was Time Crisis 2. Time Crisis 3, and they had um, Silence Cup 2. Which, why would you not? With, that one will not um, support the gun console. You gotta do hand controller on that one. And then uh, the, the other game played with it was, uh, was in the Gran Turismo, which we have somewhere around here. You know where's Gran Turismo? Okay, it's somewhere. No, 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 no. And it's the third one, right? Let me take a quick look under here. Yeah. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not there. Where in the world is Grand Turismo? I think we put it somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's, not, it's here. Okay, oh my god, so much stuff laying around. Here we go. Oh, sorry people who don't like it. Let me see that. 
Okay, so this one supports the eye link. Will the box say it though? Oh, well, we didn't get an official eye link. We got this third party one. Yeah, we have the one for gear, what? Dream, Dream gear. gear. Hey, uh, I was asking you, uh, will it say somewhere that it has the eye link support? Oh, there's the eye logo right there. You see it? Oh, this eye logo? Yes. Yeah, okay, so put that out of the way. Let me see if the tank crisis tool will say it too as well. This one don't say it, Steve. Yes. Let me see the Time Crisis 3. Let's show it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't see the eye link anywhere, except on the manual, of course. Let me see. So, according to this, just none of them mention eye link. The list, yeah, you have to check the manual. Yeah, that's the only way to know. Okay, so if I want to make this a tutorial, uh, a tutorial how to hook up and play system link for two-player mode on a Time Crisis 2 and Time Crisis 3. Uh, this is the quick, quickest way to put it on. Well, also mention if you wanna record gameplay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I gotta be specific clear that you can only record one screen or one signal with one capture device. So you should record the one that you're using, I guess. So you're gonna need one computer, one capture device, in order to capture one system. So if you wanna yeah. capture both of the players, then... <laughs> You're gonna be too. Uh, I would recommend you to put my, your phone like this. <laughs> put your phone like this, and then you can record double play. So we wanna play on the original CRT, and we're gonna play, um, we're gonna record the signal on HDMI. So the way to do that is, the tutorial to do all that is gonna be, we need to have two fat ps2 which is serious 49,000 and below because they stop uh they stop the uh the eye link on the 50,000 series so you need two fat ps2 with the eye link support and then uh, you need two copy of the games and then you need two gun counts of course and then you need a signal splitter which is this one right here you need a signal splitter because you want to be sending one of the signals to the TV and you want to be sending one of the signal to the Elgato device. But however, Elgato does not support composite. So you also need a converter. You need to convert the composite signal over to HDMI. So you need one of these converters. You know what, this is a good one actually. It's a very good one. You can output 720 or 1080p if you want. So let's do a, um, how do you say, a recount of the stuff needed? Hmm. You a recap. A recap? Yes. Okay, so let's do a recap. Two fat PS2, two copy of the games, two light guns, one iLink cable, one, what are you doing? I'm oh, sorry, I'm trying to put numbers. Yeah, one, <laughs> one uh, um, composite to HDMI, converter <laughs> and of course your HDMI cable and stuff to connect to Elgato which or any capture device you might be using well said I like it um, however we only like Elgato mm -hmm. I don't like I tried every media and I did not like it uh, it's somewhere lost already so this is the best capture device I have had mm -hmm. and, and this one right here which is um, the, the older version and this is 60 frames per second. It is, and it, it, this is the other version. This one has um, onboard um, encoder. Do you know what that means? No. Yeah, that means uh, when you're recording, it will convert the video to MP4 right on the actual device without putting that extra, um, extra memory needed for the computer. Yes. So that means if, if your computer is not a, mm, one of the newest one, it's a little old, like I know, our four gigs or eight gigabytes of RAM, it still can handle Elgato and 10, 10, uh, 1080p. Mm -hmm. So, well, with, with that, um, with all that out of the way, we're gonna we're gonna do a a demonstration, a demonstration. Hey, can you tell me how to say it right when I get wrong? Demonstration. Okay, a demonstration. Okay. Demonstration. So we're gonna do a demonstration. Okay, so let's do a demonstration here. Uh, let's turn this thing on.